Welcome to episode two. We are going to start out by moving all of Clark and Anna's bedroom stuff over to this bedroom, and then we're going to save up through this episode and hopefully have enough money to buy Callie's new bedroom suit before this episode is over. So I'm just trying to place things without like, oops, with just making sure we have everything. Okay, that looks like that's it. And I still don't know, like this whole outside area, I feel like this is probably not what Nikki had in mind for how this door situation was supposed to go out here, like our outside door and walkway. But until I get further instructions for it, we're going to leave it like that. And then we will see what happens when I try to add the new bedroom in. Like I'm even thinking I could pull this over one more. That doesn't really change anything as far as that goes. It didn't change anything actually except the outside now has a little bit more space. But that is the size of Callie's room right now. And again, that could change. I'm going to grab the curtains and move them. There is a bedroom, I mean a window in here. So we're going to put the same curtains up in here. And then that's it. I think we've got everything moved over. She already moved over the flooring and the wallpaper. Like they wanted the same stuff in this bedroom. I do see that I need to uh, <laughs> get the stuff in here correctly since I have it floating in the middle of the room. Okay, I scooted it all over. Instead of putting it under the window, which is probably what I should have done. Let me go from up here. Okay, there we go. Now they can come into their room, and that's what their bedroom looks like. I love it. Also, I didn't mention this in the last episode, but their kitchen stuff is over here as well, which is exactly the same as this kitchen, because again, this was designed for them. And so this kitchen is theirs, but we will be, of course, changing up Callie's kitchen over here. So for right now, they just have matching kitchens. And then we'll switch it up. Also, over here in their house, there are two bathrooms. But the one upstairs has not been furnished yet. And the one downstairs has been. So, again, this stuff from over here in this bathroom will come right upstairs and go in here once we have Callie's bathroom done. So, I am not doing any of that yet. The, this episode, we're just saving up for Callie's bedroom upstairs. So everybody else is going to be working on their own thing and, and doing like their own stuff. And nobody's sleeping in this room right now. The three kids that are in the house have somewhere to sleep, have their own rooms right now. So that's how it's going to go for now. All right. Callie has done all the gardening inside. <laughs> Atticus and uh, Jasmine are out here doing that. Our little apple tree is growing once it buds we'll get some more and then we have all of the roses over here to harvest and water great and that's what clark is doing these are clark's little plants that he loves and oh my gosh anna's over here watering them so anna is having a midlife crisis oh she's hungry i'm gonna have her get some food in her house and see if that'll help her like start living over there. That's what I'm going to try to do for the two of them. Have them go to the bathroom and do all of that stuff over there. So the only thing we have left to do is invite people over. I'm going to have everybody invite one person. So he invited Stephen and she's going to invite Sawyer. Um, Jasmine's going to invite Guidry. Oh, she can't invite Guidry, man. Okay, so they've all called and invited somebody over. For Jasmine and Atticus, I just picked somebody that was in their contacts list randomly. So, we'll see who comes over. But they're busy chatting with each other. Here we go. Okay, and then he has to socialize with his guests. So, here's Jaden. Oh my gosh, it says he can go scare him. And then try to console him because his mom died, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Jaden is so scared of Atticus as a ghost that he can't even like talk to him. Atticus, you just come in here and leave him alone and let the other family members talk to Jaden. 
Jaden's the only person that's gotten here so far. Where's everybody else? There's one of our twins. Is that it? Okay, he still wants to collect things even though he can't get the aspiration anymore. So, he's going to come down here. Stop talking to everybody and come down here. Alright, Clark has done his summer bash stuff. Anna is coming to talk and to talk to Sawyer. Let's ask Sawyer about his future plans. That's a good idea. Oh, good. There's Yvette and Steven. So, they're all here. Callie is going to give them residence keys because for some reason they don't have them. I don't know if it's because we redid the house so much that they don't have residence keys or what, but... All right, we're going to grab the potatoes out and put them on the table. She made the table so she can tell everybody to come to the meal. Where did she get rock climbing gear? Oh, from rummaging. It says this is rummaged mac and cheese rummaged by Jasmine. Okay, I think what else we'll do on this day, because we have not done this at all, is I think we will get Anna... And Clark out here and take a picture of the two of them together so that we can have that on our wall for our mom and dad on our wall. And I know somebody likes photography. Let me see who has that as a skill. Oh, that's right. It was when he took a picture of Bone Hilda. Okay, so we're going to get him to come here. All right, we'll see about getting all of them out here. Don't go anywhere, Clark. We're waiting on Anna. Okay, stop. In the midst of a midlife crisis, Anna has decided rocket science is her thing and wants to do it more often. Okay, that's fine. We're going to have you take a picture of Anna and Clark. Okay, I feel like pictures always take so long to make. I mean, to, to do, to take, whatever. Oh, look at so many of them sitting here at the table eating while they were taking pictures outside. Nice. Callie, you don't really want anything to eat, though. She still hasn't given residence keys to her siblings. And Jasmine invited Emily Ito over. <laughs> okay, the ruby is Cidralin. So what we do after we have extra of these is we send it to the thing, to the whatever it's called. But we already have Cidralin, so we're going to send this out for refinement. And then we'll start collecting the refined jewels. All right, everybody is getting ready to leave except for Emily Ito right now. And now we can look at the pictures out here. I love them. They're so good. I really like these. It's almost entirely Wolfium. So let me check these and see. We do not have that. So we are going to send this to the Geo Council and they'll send us back a Wolfium, which is good because that's one we need. Okay. I love these. This one's outstanding and this one as well is outstanding. So we're going to put this one in their little house over here and I'll fix that later. I think I'm going to go with a white or silver frame in their house. Yeah, I think that'll look good. Oh my gosh, there's so many puddles on the floor from him. I really want him to be done with that. Oh my gosh, footprints stay in the sand and then they slowly disappear. I have never noticed that. But see, they're disappearing right now. That is so cool and also a little bit creepy. Okay, Anna's like, listen, I'm going to play on the slip and slide. I don't know what y'all are doing. Now she's going to dance. She does not seem like somebody having a midlife crisis to me. She seems like somebody living their best life right now. Anyway, we need to order sparklers, but I'm not really worried about it until the sun goes down. Let's keep looking at these pictures. I want to put one of them in their bedroom. Maybe this one of them being goofy could go in their bedroom. And then the kids, we can put one of these in the hallway. All right, we'll put this picture upstairs right here. And we'll move this picture over to their bedroom right here for now. I'm sure we'll put some other things in here and move it around. It's just cute that that's in there. We can put some older pictures of the kids in their house as well for like decoration stuff. All right. Callie is asleep downstairs for no reason. 
All right, we're just going to have everybody who's alive come out here to the pool. I've got the ghost boy upstairs asleep. <laughs> I told him to relax, and they've fallen asleep. She's about to do a backflip. Oh, that was a nice flip. I was going to say it's going to splash them, but it's not because, okay, she also doesn't have any hair when she's naked. Why did she take her clothes off when she hit the pool? Girl, this is unacceptable. Your parents are literally right here. See, she has a thing on. Let me look at just her swimwear. Yeah. Girl, what was that about? Oh my gosh, it's 830 and the sun is still out. It's just now starting to go down. Wow. All right, here she goes. Cannonball. How'd that not splash her mama? Her mama's just asleep right there. I'll have her go relax too and then we'll get the, uh, order some fireworks. Addison Bell has died. I kind of thought that she died already. All right, fireworks. We're mostly going to get sparklers. That's for everybody to have a sparkler. And then we'll do a couple of these. There we go. For the people who love fireworks, they can do a couple of fireworks. Okay, let's make sure we do the fireworks like away from our house. Okay, now everybody needs to wake up and get out here. They've all got their fireworks or their sparklers. Oh my gosh, he's angry. Why? From a... S no. We're not even on social bunny that you cannot be tense. You can be tense from missing out on dreams because you're dead. Sure. But you're not sad about a social bunny post. Okay, it looks like Jasmine and Atticus are the ones that love these. So, we're going to let him light that, and then she's going to light this one. And then as they get out here, they're going to do their sparklers. Oh, Clark already had a sparkler from another time. It's almost Clark's time. Make the most of these final days. Oh, my gosh. Well, we're trying. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. That blew up right in her face. She's all dazed from getting shot with the fireworks. Can you back up, please? Oh, there goes this one. Nice. That was pretty. Oh, Callie got dazed from it, too? Oh, my gosh. From a faulty detonation. Oh, wait. The sparkler's on the ground. Okay, it went out. Oh, look at them being different colors. For some reason, I thought they were all the same color. Callie, did you go to get in the shower? Yes, she did. She's like, I am done with this. Nice. Now we can see Jasmine at least. Okay, this was a great summer bash day. I need y'all to all in here, get in here and get cleaned up and go to sleep. My goodness, that is a day we have had. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Because they're going to stand in front of the refrigerator. Oh, no, they're not. Because Clark and Anna are going to go to their refrigerator and get leftovers. Dang it. Clark still came to our refrigerator and got his stuff. Okay, she acts like she can't get in her house. Do you think this is blocking the walkway? Surely not. Let's see if she can go here. Oh, she can't get there. How about go here? No. What is wrong with it? Oh my gosh, that's what's wrong with it. The steps are gone. I put stairs there. Okay, well, let me fix that. Okay, now she has stairs to get into her house. Oh, my goodness. We got her house all ready. No wonder he couldn't go use the, uh, the refrigerator. I was trying to blame it on Clark. It wasn't his fault. But now he can go up here and get in his bed and go to sleep. Oh, my gosh. She looks a hot mess. Callie, you look ridiculous in here. Oh my gosh, he can do ghostly repair? I don't know what that means, but surely it won't kill him, right? I mean, he is already dead. Oh my gosh! Oh, Callie had a eureka moment and got a boost to a skill. But, like, he just went in it, like, possessed it and came back out and it was fixed. Okay. Anna, why are you over here? Can you still not get in your house? Clearly you can. Clark is upstairs asleep. Oh my gosh, she came over and got some food and took it all the way into her house because I told her to go wash her hands. Okay. Why is he sad? For an unfulfilled life. I get it. I know. This girl always wants to go get in the dang hot tub when she is about to pass out instead of just going upstairs and going to sleep. 
trying to get everybody to sleep. It's almost 2 o'clock in the morning. Y'all go to bed. Successful for everyone. Yes, Summer Bash. Oh my gosh, this thing is broken again, Atticus. I know I just told you to go upstairs and go to sleep, but can you go sleep repair this? Nope. You can just regular repair it. That's fine. Jasmine. Oh my gosh, she has to pee and is about to pass out. And I know I told her to go to bed. And instead of doing that, she's talking to a plant outside. Jasmine, go to the bathroom and go to sleep. I was just fast forwarding and I was like, oh, it's about to speedy fast forward once I get Atticus in the bed. No, because of Jasmine. Oh my gosh, it's five in the morning. What are you do? What are you doing? The sink upstairs is broken, so she needed to walk all the way downstairs. Is this broken again? It's full? Well, since they don't have a ghost search for things, I'm going to have her do that kind of search. And I'm going to see... Wait, Callie can't click on this? This is not... A, oh, it's the table, not the thing. Okay. Group seance. We've done the ghastly ritual. We've done summon Bone Hilda. We've sensed the vo validity. Volatility. Oh my gosh, y'all. I cannot say that word. And we've communed with the departed. Oh my gosh, it says Atticus has to go to school. So we're definitely going to summon Bone Hilda and have her just join our house. But she's going to be doing vampire research over here. And we're going to say that she's doing ghost research because she really wants Atticus to join the family. Okay, we're going to have her go summon Bone Hilda. She wants to chat with Bone Hilda anyway. And Bone Hilda is. Her social is down, so she's going to chat with Bone Hilda to get, get it back up. Here she is using her new... Nope, they're going alone. Using her new seance table for the first time in her own house. Atticus did go to school today. That's so funny. She's about to be done with this medium skill, y'all. There's Bone Hilda. And her social is down, so she wants to chat with her. Uh, of course, Bone Hilda is feeling flirty. I feel like she's always feeling flirty. All right, well, that got Callie's thing up. And the first thing Callie needs to do every day is come out here and supercell her garden and then tend it. Oh my gosh, Atticus and another student got in a fight today. Oh, was it because there's crap laying all over the house? Why is there a hair pile? Why? What? What is happening? Why are there hair piles all in trash all over this house? Is it because of this thing? When does Anna go to work? Tomorrow. Okay, she only works three days a week. I got it. Uh, we need a maid to get over here. Why y'all outside hugging it up? I need to see how much Callie's bedroom costs so I kind of know what we're shooting for. Okay, 8500 So we can definitely afford it right now. Especially because we can also empty out this room right here of most of the things. I did want to take Callie's scouting trophies and put those also in Dad's inventory. I guess I need to figure out when he's going to die. What does this say? Oh, he still has a little bit of time. Okay, good. Alright, Clark is going to harvest all of his roses over here. Look at our maid is stomping through the house. Dude, I do not blame you. It is a hot mess up in here. I still don't know where the trash piles are all coming from. Wait, they're not coming from Bone Hilda, are they? Bone Hilda, how come you're not cleaning our house? Okay, Callie's already ready to take a nap. But instead of doing that, we're going to adopt a kitten. Okay, I'm so excited. Let's call the adoption agency. We want to adopt a cat. Oh, we have Allie, Bella, I don't want an adult, Pudley, Penny, JD, and Sprinkles. I think I like Penny or Allie. They both look a lot alike. This Penny looks a little bit cross-eyed, which is super cute, but I love the green. Yeah, I think we're going with Allie. She's a Sphinx cat. Maybe we bring Allie and Penny to the house and we see which one she gets along with the best. Oh my gosh, they're here. They just appeared in the living room. I mean, in the kitchen. Stop. Who is this? This is Penny. Let's do the friendliest introduction. Oh my gosh. 
Where's the other kitty? Penny just jumped out and took off running. Oh, there's Allie. Oh my gosh, I love Allie. Does she not have any fur? Is that what a sphinx is? A hairless cat? Oh, she just became acquaintances with her. How do we find out? Get to know. There we go. Y'all, these spots in my house are just appearing out of nowhere. Get to know. Okay, Penny is a free spirit. And what are we learning about... Oh my gosh, what is that? Bone Hilda, you and that dang thing. I want you to stop. Oh my gosh, she got a little heart because Allie loves us. <gasps> Allie is skittish. Okay, thank you, Clark, for cleaning things up. We... Let's offer our friendship. Look, Allie's already, I mean, Penny's already laid down. Penny might end up being the one that we need to keep. We're going to do get to know one more time, too. She's skittish and aloof. I don't like that. Okay, let's do one more get to know to find out one more of her traits. And then we're going to call that good. Callie just became friends with Penny. Okay, but what was her other thing you were going to get? Oh my gosh, she's a glutton. Okay. I'm no, Clark, I know that you're trying to play with Allie. And Allie was the one that I liked at first. But now we're going to adopt Penny. Oh, look at her. She's like rolling around everywhere. Yes, Penny Copeland. Okay, I wanted to get a picture of the adoption, and instead I have my ghostly brother in the picture. But there's Callie and Penny, the very first picture. Aw, yay! Okay, we have our first little kitten, Penny Copeland. Look, it says we adopted a cat. Also, it gave us a great reputation. I love it. I think that's so funny. But, okay, I've got to figure out what in the world is happening around this house. It's disgusting that things just keep popping up like that. I don't understand. It's so weird. All right, anyway, let's get Callie's bedroom. We don't have enough money for it right now. Hold on. We have stuff to sell. Just a second. There we go. I was going to say, I know Clark harvested some stuff. There we go. Oh, and so did, so did Mom. All right, 300 more dollars. Oh, she has a fossil that we need to give to Dad. Where is Clark? Of course, he's in the kitchen. There we go. Okay, let's see. Yeah, he got adopted dog too. It's so cute. Okay, so now we have 10,000. That is definitely enough to get it. So let's go over here. And we can't just place it down because I don't know how to turn it. Y'all all know how to do that and I do not. So we're going to have to place it out here and turn it and then place it up there where it goes. Don't tell me one EA item has been removed. Okay, I don't think that's how it goes. Oh, so this encompasses the whole thing, I think. Maybe I don't know how it goes. Maybe it goes like this. Oh, yes. Okay. Let's do that. Now, this needs to be scooted over. And I guess that is part of the problem out here. Oh, I don't have it where it lines up exactly with the thing downstairs. So, I don't know what I did wrong, but something. Anyway, for right now, this is definitely going to work. I mean, it still gives us enough space and it goes out of the thing. What this does have is this has a an entrance right into this room, which is going to be her kid's room. And so, she can go straight in here to the kid's room from her room. So... We do have, oh, I didn't put it on right. It's further back than it should be. I'm so confused about all of this. Okay, well, we can still go outside the same way. But, Nikki, you need to look at this and tell me what it is that I've done wrong. I love this bedroom. Okay, let me see about the window because I know I have to have double windows. Yes, I do. Okay. And something over here, I have curtains and no windows. Okay, so now I think we're good. Wait, I'm sure there are double doors, right? Extra doors, I mean. Yes, and there's not an extra door here because there wasn't a door here to begin with. But we can get rid of this stuff. 
We'll leave this picture of Callie and her sister. This is Callie and Yvette. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because Jasmine has red hair. So that's Callie and Yvette when they were little. Here's her high school diploma that we'll put in here for now. So I love it. She's got her gardening stuff right here with some nice gardening pictures on the wall. I love this big pit landscape picture. That's so pretty. The curtains in here, the plants. Oh, and then she's got the little palmistry stuff since she's a medium. Oh, and look, there's a little phone and keys. That must be part of a clutter thing that I don't know about because I never decorate houses. <laughs> anyway, and she's even got a mirror that's got her stuff in it. This is so Cali. I love this. So tell me what it is that I'm missing as far as like this whole section right here goes. And or if I did something weird the way I put her room together. So let me know what I've done wrong. <laughs> and I will fix it. Until then, though, I will see you guys. Oh, no, I messed something up in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.